Today we have come to Scotland to become landowners, but most of all, to become a lord and a lady. And after watching this video, you might just become one too. To own land is pretty much a universal dream, but with the job market worsening and prices skyrocketing, it's starting to feel like it might just have to remain a distant dream for millennials that don't have a juicy inheritance ahead of them. But what if I told you that your dream has never been easier? Leisure time with my lord. Now for those of you that don't know, a lord isn't just a cool name for a tiny little dude who lives in a castle. It's also a legal status, meaning that you're a landowner in the United Kingdom. And for women, they're known as a lady. I've never been the kind of person to get caught up in titles, but when I saw this opportunity, I knew it was the opportunity of a lifetime. And so, our journey to become of noble rank in society started exactly how you would expect, in a medieval looking town surrounded by moody rain clouds. But the part I wasn't ready for was how beautiful Scotland would be. This road trip was about to completely change my perspective of this country. Three hours later and we had arrived at the Highland Titles Nature Reserve, the place where we would see our land for the first time since buying it online. But before visiting our land, we had to make a quick stop. Stuart is going to be giving us a tour of the estate right now in this electric buggy. It's a very special place coming through all the mountains that we just drove through, the valleys, the rivers. It's just honestly a place that I had not even expected to be so beautiful. I was blown away kind of had a bit of a throwback to when I did a road trip through Norway this is so refreshing to be wearing a jacket and be cold because we've been in tropical places for the longest time I just came back from the Maldives so this is nice and your That's suitcase cute. is still there it, it is it is <laughs> still there <laughs> let's go become a lord and lady Woo. So right now we're with Stuart going to the Hedgehog Hospital, basically a place where hedgehogs are saved from uh, otherwise sad fate. And look at this, it's like an enchanted forest. And we're getting one of the few moments where you get to see the sun in Scotland. Things are looking up. I've never seen a hedgehog in the wild. This will never. be a first for us. But the wildest one I've ever seen was at PetSmart. So if I find one, I'll shout you and you can come and get it. All right, so that's hedgehog food? That's hedgehog biscuits, cat biscuits, and lactose-free cat food. Yeah, there is one in here. See him in there? There's one in Over there with the green netting on the top, you're looking at the biggest bug hotel in the world. Do they have any availability tonight? <laughs> Prior to this one, Poland had the biggest bug hotel. Take that, Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Poland's so, tourism has nosedived yeah, since then. It. Oh, I love that! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna go in that deep. I've become oh, a real wood cool. girl. It smells like Christmas. Welcome to the world's largest bug hotel! This is literally like my childhood dream. It was finally time. The reason we had flown across the world from Bali to Scotland. Are we going to our land now? Yeah. Oh, are we? Now you're probably wondering, why on earth would I buy land here in Scotland? And if the beauty isn't enough to answer that, then I'll tell you more in just a sec. I bought this land on the internet without having ever seen it. And I'm about to see what I bought for the first time. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous too. We're gonna be landowners together and I'm very excited. It's what do you wanna do with it? Build an enchanted home. For me it's just like, this is definitely the kind of place where like I can see myself growing roots and uh, having a place for entertaining people and relaxing. So I'm really excited guys. The crazy part is you might just wanna be my neighbor at the end of this. You'll see for yourself that if your budget's tight, no stress, there's a reason why people are coming to Scotland. So just up this hill is our land. Let's go take a look. Here. Where? This is here. This where? Is your spot, right there. Where does it start and where does it end? Square foot. Yeah. Square foot. So you're saying it's about a, uh, the size of your foot? It is exactly the size of my foot because I take a size 12, which is 12 inches. So if I did that, that is your souvenir plot. How many houses do you think you could build on it? 
Might need to take a rain check on our plans, babe. Yeah, that's what Bali's for. <laughs> this is no joke. My plot of land. How did you find it? GPS. <laughs> I mean, come experience it. Feel free. It's nice, right? <laughs> it's very intimate. And the surrounding greenscape is so lovely. Stuart, would you like to come over? Yeah. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> this, is, this is really nice. Time to get to work, building my house. Here we are. This is gonna be the perfect home for an ant or a hedgehog, but probably not both. I don't think they'd fit. There we are. Now you might think I'm joking, but I'm actually not. <laughs> this is really actually our land. We are legally on title. And you might be wondering why. Is it to build? Well, the answer is no, because you actually legally can't build. Can you sleep here? No, you actually legally can't camp here either. It is legally giving us the status of lady, and I am Lord LeBlanc. <laughs> For less than $50, without even coming to Scotland, you can go online and buy one of these plots of land. And for generations to come, your friends, your parents, and your children will call you a lord or a lady. Lady Rubington. Mm -hmm. This is great. Great. Now, we didn't come all the way to Scotland just to show you a little tiny square foot of land. But of course, now that we're locals here, we're going to have to get to know the land, become a little bit more acquainted. Right now, we are in the region just south of Loch Ness called Durr, and this area is green, it is rolling hills. This is something super special that everybody needs to add to their list, and I'll show you why. Let's go. So Stuart was just telling us that one of the coolest things of becoming a Highland title owner is that it's actually contributing directly to preserving this local land. Uh, they have a lot of effort going into keeping the hedgehog population up, there's a lot of work on reforesting some of the land, and yeah, it's just a really cool way to be able to take care of one of the most spectacular pieces of this planet. It is truly magical. Thank you so much, Stuart. No problem. Pleasure. Pleasure. Lord Christian Leblanc. There we are. My the daughter. deed to the land, guys. There's actually a letter that's coming in the mail very soon, and it's going to be a legal document that basically says, I am now officially a lord. Beautiful. I'm officially a landowner. Time to take off the boots. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. oh. Wow. and a slice of cake. <laughs> this is how you know the transformation is complete. Look at this. I am a lady. What shall I do to flatter you? Feed me cake. Mmm. As much as I'd love to stay on our land for the night, something tells me that between the midges, which are these little tiny flies that kept biting, and the fact that I legally can't build on my land, we're probably gonna have to find somewhere else. But the good news is, when you become a lord and a lady, there is a monastery that you can stay in that is quite literally exclusive to lords and ladies. So we're on our way now. The Highland Titles has this really cool hotel in Loch Ness, which is home to the man-eating monster that lives in the lake. And uh, something tells me we're gonna see him. One thing you need to know about driving Scotland that has been absolutely incredible is the roads. Literally every two seconds is a brand new turn, a narrow road, and an oncoming lorry. It's like British for truck. Honestly, it just makes for incredible, incredible driving. But one thing that I'm having a bit of a hard time with is that the UKers also drive on the wrong side of the road. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind being on the right side of the car. I got used to that. But this... Having my stick shift on the left hand is totally throwing me off. It's been like a mental challenge more than anything else. How are you enjoying the ride? Uh, try not to get car sick, <laughs> but it's very, yeah. very beautiful. It's like a cinematic movie scene. If you just bump up some classical music, it's a great drive. We're here. We have arrived at the grounds for a lord and a lady. By his noble decree, I have been obliged to carry out all further voiceovers. <clears throat> Warm welcome to Fort Augustus, sitting proudly above the famed Loch Ness. This is where the Lord and his lady shall indeed reside this fine evening. This is low-key one of my dreams, and I can't believe that we're here right now in Loch Ness, staying in a castle as a lady. I feel so special. Tim got to come too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dreams are coming true. Wow. We are staying in this old medieval castle tonight. Wow. 
This is the entrance to Hogwarts right here. Look at this. Ruby, you are living Harry Potter. I know. This whole building used to be a church? It used to be a fort at one time. Monks came to Fort Augustus, they acquired the old fort, they knocked the fort down, and they rebuilt the abbey as it is today. Are there any ghosts I should know about? No. no. Okay. This is no. a monastery, no, it's not, holy. Not in your apartment, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Room 203 is a different story. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. This is so sick. Look yeah. at the backdrop. Are you wow. kidding me? This, this is, is so insane. Cool. And look at this beautiful modern finish. This is not what I expected. This is really dope. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh my god. This is stunning. Look at the view. So that's the master bedroom. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this. It's so cozy. That's the master bedroom. Wow. Ooh, this carpet's so thick. Your bathroom is just here. One bathroom just here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. This is such a cool combo of modern meets traditional old school. So that's it's like nice. holding on to the heritage, but in such a very beautiful finish. So cool. I'm already feeling so comfortable. Like I can't wait to just go and lie down and just enjoy this apartment. Especially because the travel here was exhausting. I had my flight canceled two days in a row. British Airways just threw me under the bus, but I made it. This is a pretty, pretty spectacular day. It's not every day you become Lord. So we're leaving a room and we are off to go get some food. And I'm excited because I want to try some Scottish food. I really don't know much about it. I know about haggis. Got to get some, some great haggis. I just know I want sausage. Yeah? Just want some sausage. If you don't know what haggis is, it's a lamb stomach with a bunch of things inside of it. So I don't know if they have it, but I of course need to try something new today. This is crazy. You see, baby, everything the light touches, it's yours. I used to be a peasant. That is until I used Highland titles to buy myself lordship, and uh, for under $50, my life changed. So can yours. She's a proud lord digger. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Link down below. So just a few steps away from the castle, you come over here to this little restaurant right on the water. So cool. It's literally the Boathouse River restaurant. Mm. Looks good. We're here in Scotland, and of course, we have to try the fish and chips. Look how big the chips are. Mm. So they say, try one thing a day that scares you. Today I'm trying haggis. So this is um, basically all the intestines and stomach and everything that's on the inside of a uh, sheep, a lamb. Kind of good. It's like a ground beef, but with a little bit more of a aftertaste to it. I don't know. It's different, but I don't mind it. Gotta love that English summer. Just chills you to the bone. It is so, so cold. As you guys know, I'm definitely like a warm weather kind of guy, but it's nice to change it up. Coming from Bali, having spent so many months in super hot climates, I'm so stoked to be back in denim, to be in sweaters. Feels really nice. Right, folks, head on down, okay? Enjoy your cruise. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Lee. All aboard the legend of Loch Ness. Hello. So this is a cool moment for me. This isn't just any body of water. This is actually one that I had grown up hearing about. As a kid, I was fascinated by dinosaurs and I was fascinated by monsters. This is the infamous Loch Ness, a lake that's said to have a man-eating, serpent-like, long-necked monster that inhabits it. And I gotta be honest, I've been on the boat now for 30 minutes. I'm starting to get a bit impatient because I haven't seen it, and I'm starting to think it's all just a big lie, but uh... Wait, hang on a second. R Ruby, Ruby! It's real. real. Everyone who ever thought this was just a legend is wrong. Mm -hmm. After encountering the beast, Lord Lost Leblanc and his Lady Rubington retired to their castle for crumpets, tea, and of course, a little bit of shenanigans, shall we say. <laughs> After playing all day inside our castle, it's time to go explore our kingdom. And I've come well equipped. I'm enjoying the freedoms of the local garments. And I must say, the kilt is very convenient. When it comes time, you gotta go to the bathroom. You don't have to do anything. You can keep it on. So we've heard that the best fish and chips in town are here at Monster's Fish and Chip. Let's try it out. 
So we're about to try a blood pudding, which is pig's blood, mixed with oatmeal, salt, and a couple other things. I'm not gonna try it here. I can in good faith wear this if I'm not gonna try it. Uh, this one's the pig's blood. Oh, oh. This actually kind of looks good. Black pudding. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Oh my god. But this look, honestly, it looks like a brownie. It looks so good. Okay, okay. Brownie, brownie. Pig's blood, pig's blood, pig's blood. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad, but I can't get past the idea of it. I'm so sorry. Like this tastes, it's smudgy. Like it's, it's got a texture to it, like a blood would. In all fairness, it did not taste bad. I'll say that. But as uh, you're spitting it out, but I can't. <laughs> no, I'm out. Mm, look at this fish and chips. <laughs> that is a serious amount of fish and chips. I didn't see how big it was, and I asked for an extra piece. Big mistake. All right, time to try the famous fish and chips around here. They put vinegar on it, which I heard is what you're supposed to do, vinegar and salt. Mmm, -hmm. mm, hot, but good. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Just a few minutes later, our stomachs hurt and we regretted everything we had ate. But our next journey awaited us as the 747 steam train was soon to depart for Hogwarts. Let's go. Time to get wet. Luckily I'm prepared. All right, here we go. I gotta say guys, Scotland has been underhyped. I came here thinking it'd be flat and green, but turns out it has some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. I've seen everything from meadows to valleys, livestock running freely through green grass, but one thing I definitely also underestimated was how wet it was. This is like the 15th time we've had rain again. And even though it's raining, we need to get going because the 745 train is gonna be passing by on the viaduct. And uh, this is another Harry Potter special because this is the literal train they used in the movie. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Harry White, Harry White, I'm coming, Harry White. This is gonna be epic. <laughs> wow, there's a deer. Express is coming! This is so exciting! <laughs> As the sun dawned above the horizon with unmatched brilliance, so did our heroic Lord Lost Leblanc, having successfully missioned his quest for lordship. It came time for him to retire his kilt. But hear me say, it was only retired in flesh, as in spirit it shall always remain. <laughs> Oh yeah, wrong side.